Good afternoon, good evening to everybody. Welcome to the stream. Katie, Dragonsbane, Mr. Chewy, Sven, Jenkins. Good morning, guys. Do we know the release date for Panda Mix? Panda Remix? Uh, not yet. Whenever, whenever 10.2.7 drops. That is when you will have your Pandaria Remix. Slash Pandemonium. Slash Time Running. A Lua warning. Peace, friend. Tewin, Bruno, good morning, guys. Welcome and thank you for being here. Be Another Lua error? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what a surprise. So the the beta's still uh, still pretty buggy. Still pretty buggy. Peace be with you. Uh, music seems really quiet to non-existent. Okay, everything is kind of maxed out. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. How is the music? Can you guys hear the music? Oh, there you go. That, that, that's better. That sounds good. Okay. Let's go with that. Goddess, bless you. No, I don't think the patch is going to happen until sometime in May. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't count on it being this this month. It's probably going to be, be in May sometime. Uh, let's see, we've heard much about you and your previous accomplishments. Aronis will take you to join Malfurion's forces in Hyjal. Go in peace. Except this guy. What other games do I play? I, I don't have time to play other games. I just play 16 different versions of World of Warcraft. Yeah, there's like 8 different versions, so I have my hands full. Just playing all the different types of WoW. If I, if I want to experience another game at this point, like I, I watch a Let's Play. No, it can't be. I, I've been watching Christopher Odd's uh, Enemy Within campaign, XCOM Enemy Within. That's been fun to watch nightly. Every once in a while, if like an open world RPG like catches my eye, I'll try it out. The last game I tried on the channel was uh, Last Epoch. And uh, I just didn't really like the combat. Blood Moon, good afternoon, welcome. Monica, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for being here. Send word to the others. Let us hurry. So I have dual spec, and I have a fury spec, but I'm going to try to go with my arm spec. And to see if that's any fun, see if that works. I'm sure like usual fury is probably like better DPS. And, and I have that like kind of ready to go. I also have a second weapon in case we decide to go that route. But the thing is like, you know what I hate the most? is that charge requires battle stance, but then I'm gonna wanna flip into berserker stance for fury. Like, I just don't like stance dancing. It's like the one downfall of the warrior. That's why I always end up as arm spec in battle stance. Cause I hate stance dancing. All right, so yeah, we got some quest. Slay eight scalding rock elementals. Goddess, watch over. What brings you? And feed juniper berries to the fairy dragons and s oh yeah, the uh, the guys that are hanging out in stealth. Okay. Uh, let's head back this way.
my gosh. Eventually, there is no stance dancing. I just don't know, like, which expansion that happened in. Maybe it was Pandaria. Eventually, like, you don't have to worry about it. Like, the, the main thing is just I need to be able to use charge from any stance. Like, that's what I really need. This feels pretty good. Like right away, this feels better than, than the button pressing felt on the Paladin or the Mage. So yeah, okay, so we have to feed these guys something. Maybe something we pick up off the ground. Max, no problem, man. Thanks for being here and checking out the stream. I appreciate it. Okay, uh, yep, turning my health bars on it created this wonderful little error. Also, this guy is showing up really weird. Uh, I don't really know what's broken here. I don't have any add-ons running. Like, whatever is happening here is happening because of the game. And not because of anything on my side. I wonder what that was about. It might have been just that particular mob. But that seems a lot to hope for. I wonder if the health bars are busted. It happened as soon as I hit V. As soon as I hit V, we got that horrible error. Alright, so I have one berry. I can feed that to one of the Fey Dragons. If I type that, they will stop. I, I, I will type that, yeah. As soon as I uh, take care of this guy. Oh god, oh Jesus. Uh, okay, let's turn health bars off, okay. Yeah, it's the health bars causing it. Yeah, but we'll see if uh, that council command fixes it. I, I'd like to be able to use the health bars, but if I can't use them, I can't use them. Oh god, we're gonna die. Oh good, we didn't die. Okay, yeah, let's let's try that first. Okay. Uh and let's let's heal up. Let's drag these out to the bar. I can't I can't use this item. Requires first aid four hundred. They seem to have given me, um, bandages that I, I literally cannot use. Um, and since they changed spirit to no longer give you health regen, you will just sit here and you will never get any of your HP back. Which is a lot of fun. Let's move these somewhere a little bit more uh, visible. That looks okay. It looks okay. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. And V. Oh, nice. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, the other thing is obviously like these guys are marked as a skull. So this is just like broken stuff in the game. It's kind of surprising. Maybe it shouldn't be. But it's kind of surprising to me that the game is still so broken. <laughs> it's still so very broken. Um, yeah, maybe that should... I should just be like, oh, of course it is. I just... I, you know, I haven't played the beta in a, in a couple of weeks. And I was, I was kind of assuming it would be in a little bit better of a state than when I left it last. 
And I think last time we were able to use these bandages, and today we just can't. I'm gonna have to buy some food back in town. Mantar, good evening, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. I mean, Warrior feels like buttery smooth. The button pushing on the arms Warrior feels really good. How may I help? Till next we meet. Yeah, you hope they have a better working <laughs> pre-patch? Yeah, yeah, like I hope the pre-patch works. It's like, you know, like what, nine days away? We're getting pretty darn close to pre-patch. So yeah, I hope it I hope it works. And I hope they have everything dialed in where I, I remember leveling up the Tauren Warrior through like the early game. And I remember just feeling like the leveling was really slow. And for me to feel like the leveling is really slow, I just felt like they didn't have like the XP gains where they wanted them, or maybe they didn't have the XP per level where they wanted it. I hope they've got all that stuff sorted out. And that it's um, it's whatever speed they actually want it to be, because it, it felt like vanilla levels of XP gains when we were playing like a few weeks ago. Warrior seems like an ideal class for a night elf. Yeah, uh, my first ever classic carrier was a was a night elf, a night elf warrior. Uh, I really need some berries. I'm just not I'm not finding them. Uh, you know that being said, I'm not looking very closely. You know what I could do? I could, I could track the area. Yeah, yeah, we're in the area. Here we go. I'm standing right in front of one. It's that easy. And then there's the last one we need down here. They're actually all over the place, but for some reason, at first glance, they're hard for me to see. Jackie, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for being here.
for some reason I can't pop Enraged Regeneration. 15 Rage, Instant Cast, 3 minute cooldown. You generate 30% of your total HP over 10 seconds. Can only be used while enraged. Okay. So I was not, I was not properly enraged. I guess if, ooh, the music is really loud now. I guess if I want to be properly enraged, I need to pull out Berserker Rage. Uh, what else am I missing? Inner Rage uh, reduces the cooldown of Heroic Strike and Cleave. By fi that's a that's a weird little little cooldown. See, that's a that's a thirty second cooldown. That that almost feels like it should be on my on my bar somewhere. Um, hmm, hmm. I don't really need thunderclap. Dude keeps getting like dragged into combat as soon as I like click him. I'm, I'm like, I can't, I can't click. I think I have to kill this guy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to turn this in until I kill this guy. That's so weird. Okay, there you go, buddy. Chill out now. There we go. Perfect. Alex, happy Sunday, man. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. can't help but feel like there was probably a more direct route to where I'm going. Maybe I could have, like, cut underneath the roots of the tree. Maybe I could have made, yeah, maybe I could have done, like, an actual direct route. In fact, that might be what I have to do. I just, like, on autopilot, I took the road. Let's see if we can not die. Okay, no! Oh, splat. Oh, God, I felt that one. Oh, that was, that was painful. Oh, I can fly. Oh, good. Oh, that makes my life so much easier. I love it when I can fly as a spirit. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, here we go, right back where we started. Okay, let, let's try to, let's try to take a, a, a direct route. Dalton, thanks for being here. I appreciate you checking out the stream.
Yeah, I forgot to buy food. I still have a little bit of food. But if I'm gonna have to, like, sit and eat every couple of fights, we're gonna need a lot more food. I really wish the bandages would, would work. Maybe there's somewhere that I can train first aid. And, I, you know, I, you would think that for the purposes of the, like, high-level character, they would just give you a first aid. That would make sense. I feel like I should have, like, slice and dice. Some kind of, like, uh, like, cleave type action. I mean, I have cleave. Sweeping strike, sweeping strike. So that's what I should have. Another button. Yet another button. I have so many buttons. And I feel like there are still other buttons that I'm, like, flat out neglecting. I still have not achieved whatever I was meant to achieve. I need to blow the horn, summon the thing, and burn the place. There we go. Halal, is the beta still buggy? Yeah, it's, um, it's still, it's still pretty buggy, yeah. We had a bunch of Lua errors, but we were given a, a workaround for that, so the Lua errors aren't popping up now, but... Yeah, it's still kind of borked. Uh, two-handed sword... Yes, this is going to be, uh, better for us. Let's get that bad boy equipped. There we go. Okay, so now, now I can take the road. Jack's a good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here. I appreciate it. What expansion did I start playing WoW? I started playing WoW when it first came out. So like, you know, 1.0. Vanilla. Vanilla. I, I, I'm, an, I'm an older person. I was, uh, I was like 20, in my 20s when WoW came out. So yeah, I was here from, from the start. That being said, I didn't play in any of the betas. My friend got me into it right after it came out because he knew that I loved Warcraft 3. Is this the actual, like, Malfurion model from Cataclysm? Or is this, like, a newer model? It's kind of hard to tell. I, I think it must be the Cataclysm model. It, it doesn't have quite enough pixels to be a Dragonflight model. But still looks markedly different when compared to, like, a generic-looking female Tauren. May Elune grant us strength. I heard about some kind of uh, like a graphics up-resing option they were adding to, cat to Cataclysm. I wonder if that's in the beta yet. Uh, let's see, make no mistake about this, the outcome of this war will determine the very survival of our world as we know it. I've heard that before. Uh, the Twilight's Hammer has become more powerful than ever with Deathwing's return. Should they succeed in taking over the World Tree, they might strike a blow from which we will never recover. Kill some of them, okay. Oh, V-Rising is going to 1.0? Oh, that's cool. I, I, I played a little bit of V-Rising back when it first came to Early Access. 
and I, I enjoyed my time. I don't know if it's something that I, maybe I would check it out. I think maybe I'd check it out like on my own time though. <laughs> I don't know if I try to put V Rising on the channel, but if it hits 1.0, I might check it out on my own because uh, it was a really enjoyable game. All right, uh, let's see. So yeah, we're just. I wanted to check on that uprising option. Uh, maybe I should just like look for it in graphics. So I'm not exactly sure what they call it in the game. I mean, my render scale is already 200% anyway. Yeah, I don't see it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not added yet. Uh, you have a quest as well. Obtain eight bone staff fragments. Um, am I supposed to be fighting these, or am I supposed to be using, like, some kind of item on it? I don't have any add-ons running. What add-ons is it talking about? I need to check that out. Oh my god. Uh, so, like, I'm doing- I'm doing something wrong. Obviously. I just have no idea what- maybe I just need to ignore these guys for now. Maybe- maybe that was my problem. So maybe I just need to not mess with them. Vanquisher slain, flame caller slain, and I something else I can't track right now. Okay, cool. Hey Christopher, you're digging the night off warrior. I'm I'm probably I'm not gonna stream him till he's max level. Yeah, like, a lot of the leveling stuff, like... I'm trying to keep my leveling stuff mostly as recorded series. And then I'm, I'm trying to focus, like, the majority of the weekday streams on, uh, on Endgame. Whether it's Endgame in Dragonflight, or Endgame in Kata if we get there, or Endgame in, uh, like Season of Discovery at level 60, like... Trying to keep my, uh, my leveling stuff recorded stuff. Just cause, like, the recorded- the- the leveling stuff is more chill when it's a recorded series. And then the end game stuff, I don't, I don't mind if the end game stuff is sometimes not as chill. So that, that kind of suits the streams a little better. Alright, so yeah, I think I'm ignoring the, I'm gonna ignore the big guys for now. And we will work on these little guys.
You know what I don't have that could make us a little bit more powerful? I don't have any glyphs assigned. I like I completely forgot about glyphs. Uh, mortal Strike sounds good. Yeah, we use Mortal Strike. What does this do? Increases the damage of Mortal Strike. Yeah, I think we want I think we want more damage, right? Uh, increases the damage uh, of Bloodthirst. Uh, am I using Bloodthirst? I don't know. Do I even have an ability called Bloodthirst? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not. If I do, let's see. I don't. I have Victory Rush. I, I don't seem to have Bloodthirst. Maybe maybe it's something we don't have yet. Maybe it's something that's for uh, Fury Spec. So I don't think I need that one. Overpower could be good. We are using Overpower quite a bit. Let's go ahead and socket that in. Raging Blow, I think, is a Fury ability. Slam, like, I, I'm not using Slam. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. Bladestorm, reducing the cooldown of Bladestorm could be could be really good. Let's let's do that one. Uh, right now, it's, uh, it's a 1.5 minute. I'm assuming a 1.2. Okay, so it brought it down a little bit. Uh, let's see, Major Glyphs. Colossal Smash we don't have yet, but we're gonna have it eventually. I think we train it at level 81. Long Charge. Ooh, I like Long Charge. That sounds fun. Rapid Charge? Uh, I kinda like Rapid Charge too. Yeah, I like Charge a lot. Um... Shockwave, reducing the cooldown. Do I have Shockwave yet? Sweeping Strikes, reducing the cost of your sweep. So this makes Sweeping Strikes free. That could be really good. I, I think maybe I'll just take that. Uh, the minor ones, I don't know if I'm going to really worry about it. I guess we'll just socket some in. Commanding Shout. Cliff of Enduring Victory seems good. Um, and yeah, like... I guess maybe eventually we'll do, we'll have this bloodthirst ability. Let's put that here. Mike, happy Sunday, man. Welcome to the stream. Be sad, dog. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. All right, that's sorted out. Oh, hello there. We have a convenient respawn. That should help us deal a little bit more damage. Have I played Elden Ring before? Yeah, I played Elden Ring a little bit when it first came out. Uh, I didn't I didn't have my new PC at the time, so like it didn't run well on the PC that I had. And so I never I never put any of it up on the channel. I actually I recorded an episode one back when it first came out, and I was just very dissatisfied with how it, the game looked on my rig, so I never put the episode live. I was, you know, I had contemplated doing an Elden Ring run on the channel before the DLC comes out, but it's kind of one of those things, you know, like it's going to be like, I could probably sink like 50 or 60 hours into an Elden Ring run, uh, which is like right now that's a lot of time with like all the WoW stuff that's happening. And then the question is like, would anybody watch me do an Elden Ring run? Probably not, because like, to be honest, I have a lot of skilling up to do when it comes to games like Elden Ring. It turns out when you mostly play a tab target MMO, it doesn't build a lot of your dodge reflexes. <laughs> so, yeah. But I, it's something that I've thought about. I just don't think I have time to do it right now. And I, I, I severely doubt that the algorithm will show any show the video of me playing Elden Ring to anybody who cares about Elden Ring. So I, I don't really... It probably wouldn't be a good use of my time, unfortunately.
If we were in like a WoW slump, which like might not exist anymore, I'd, I'd consider it, but like I have so much WoW to play. So many things happening in the next month or two. You know, we're gonna have the pre-patch, we're gonna have Cata launch, um, we're gonna have the war, war Within beta. War Within beta is probably within a month or so. You know, followed by, we got 10.2.7 coming out any anytime now in, in the next month with the Panda remix and the, uh, the Dark Heart story chapters leading into War Within. Then we're gonna have the War Within pre-patch and that story content and those world events. And we got season four coming up for Mythic. Like, yeah, there's like a lot of stuff to do in WoW right now. Is my Rep Pally in a guild? My Rep Pally is in a random guild that I joined strictly so that I could take advantage of the 15 minute Hearthstone. So yeah, he's in a guild, but like, not a guild that I'm ever going to treat like a guild. I, I took a random invite at the urgings of chat. Just so, like I said, we can have that, uh, that shorter Hearthstone. Very useful when doing Mythics. I'm on Stormrage. Uh, the question I have is, can I fly here? When we die, we fly. Can I fly right now? I cannot. And I'd prefer it be that way, but I just thought I would check. Uh, let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, like that's a big chest upgrade. May Haloon grant us strength. Hail to the night. All right, kill thirty unbound flame spirits. Destroy the smaller elementals once you've broken up. Okay, so this is now where we're going after the big elemental guys. They're gonna split into little tiny ones, and we have an item to take them on. Okay, let's go ahead and equip the chest. That is an interesting look for us. Okay, cool. I'm into it. I always, I keep forgetting, you know, that we're never going to regen any HP naturally, and I keep running around with, like, half HP. Because I'm just used to, like, classic, like, you get your HP back over time because spirit gives you regen, but, like, spirit does not give you regen anymore. The only way you are ever going to get your health back is if you bandage or if you eat. It's funny, it's almost like a step backwards in, in Cataclysm. Like, I feel like I have to eat so much more than I had to, like, in, in Wrath of the Lich King or probably Burning Crusade. Just because of the change they made to Spirit. In original Kata, you could just buy the flying skill at level 60. Like, the flying skill for the old world. You could buy it at level 60. I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Those are those are specifics that I would not recall from 10 years ago. Uh, this is, uh, is not the guy. Not the guy that I want. I don't want that guy right now. I need to find more of the giant dudes. Who are not that guy. But who are somebody else. Yeah, I feel like they wouldn't have given you Old World Flying at level 60 in Original Cataclysm since, like, the level cap was 85. It just, that seems a bit off. 
Uh, but again, I don't know for sure. We'll find out. We'll find out what they decide to do with classic. Right now, I'm not. I'm not even sure what the beta is set to. Oh, here we go. We need this guy. I don't have a lot of. I can cleave. I guess I have cleave. Cleave, cleave is. Oh, that was not good. Cleave is not a very good way to take care of these guys. It turns out. Uh, I can't Whirlwind, I don't think, unless I'm in Berserker stance. And then we have this guy taking pot shots from the back line. Catalog, you can buy a Flight Master's license for Kaldor and Eastern Kingdoms. Cool. That's cool. That could be in the beta right now. And you know, it's just as something that I didn't do. We need to find like one more of these guys and then we can move on. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I thought we saw people. I thought we saw people flying. Um, like uh, last time we played the beta, I'm pretty sure we saw people flying. I just, I just didn't grab it. And I, I don't really care. I'm, I'm fine to run around and explore the zones. Like, on foot for now. There will be plenty of time for me to fly, like, later. May Elum grant us strength. Hail to the night. So, so like, really important thing is, like, don't stand in the fire waves as he is fire waving you. Just, like, don't. You gotta wait. Don't stand in them. Fire burns. That's, that's what we confirmed. Maybe we don't even need to get close to him to do this. Oh no, there he goes, he stopped. Let's get in here and zap him. He made me a living bomb. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die here. I mean, he he made me into a living bomb, so... 
I, not much I can do. Okay, um, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're, de we're dead. <laughs> if we had had even a little bit of HP regen, we might have survived that fall. But no, we, we had nothing. Our gear is going to be broken pretty soon, sadly enough. We have to wait for a res because we die too much. What a failure. Let's see. Here we go. Wrist. It's an upgrade. Uh, let, or or well, we don't need the one-handers, I guess. Let's take the wrist. Fifty quests completed. That seems that seems unlikely, but okay. Oh, we have a quest right here. Um, somehow we have to get up this hill. Let's see if we can figure that out. Blands and good afternoon, men. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here. Hey. Take the mole machine to Black Rock Mountain. Um, Lucky like, do them. I do I really want to do this? Is this uh, is this what we're doing right now? I guess. I hope we have a way to get back. Have you missed anything? Ah, uh, you know, probably nothing super important. We're just checking out beta again. This time we're doing it on a warrior, which uh, the button pressing for the warrior has been much more enjoyable than the Cataclysm Paladin or the Cataclysm Mage. So, uh, speak to somebody. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why I am where I am though. Like, I took this. I, I took this here, but like, I don't. I don't really want to be here. Uh, I don't seem to have a quest to be here. Because now the only quest I have is to go here. So I'm not I'm not really sure what the deal is with this guy's quest. I don't know if maybe he just wanted us to test the mole machine or what exactly the point of that was. But okay. If we want to go to Blackrock for whatever our own reasons might be, then we have a little a little fast way to get there, I guess. I, I don't know. Seems kinda weird. I'm sure, like, running through these guys is the preferred way to get back here. Yeah, this is gonna work out really well. Kinda hoping they all leash. Oh, 
Alright, good. Good, good, good. Find Scout Lorandia. Okay. She is, of course, 20 yards away from us. Uh, because why would she be any further than that? What brings you here? Farewell. Obtain a Twilight Overseer's key. May the stars guide you. Did we did we just not let her out? She's she has the key. She's just gonna hang out in here. She's fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's a little weird. Not the choice that I would make, but okay. Am I taking this tunnel? I don't know. Maybe we're taking this tunnel? Maybe this tunnel was a was a terrible mistake. It's hard to say. Also, my quest tracking is just being really weird. Um, yeah, it seems like the arrow is pointing down. Mmm, I don't know. I don't really see a way that we can get through here. Okay, well, maybe this way. This leads down. They they seem fine. Yeah, they they seem fine. Oh, here we go. We don't talk about politics here. Yeah, this is a this is a politic free zone. Can ask me anything about World of Warcraft though.
I mean, dang, the warrior feels really good. It feels really good. Uh, we will take the plate gloves. Dustin, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. If I had to choose a faction, which one would I pick? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. I'd probably, I'd probably have to pick Horde side because they have blood elves. Yeah, I'd, pro I'd probably have to, I'd probably have to pick Horde side. But yeah, you know, that's the kind of choice. I, 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 thankfully, I'll never have to make a choice like that. So. That was kind of a shortcut. It's a little bit of a shortcut. Oh dear God! Yeah, they they really want me down the road. They they really want me just to take the road there, like, which is fine, I guess. Boop. I, I don't know how I could have made what I said any more clear. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that's nice. I didn't notice this. I didn't notice they had a convenient little portal back to Orgrimmar. That's really cool. I should probably go back and try to figure out if I can learn first aid. Like, you know, maybe actually use the uh, bandages they gave me. Much remains to be done. The dream gives us shelter. I fear for illustrious fate. Vendril's corruption ran deeper than anything I encountered in the nightmare. Yet, we can't afford to dwell on this. During my stay in the dream, I made a vital discovery. The rift that weakens the boundaries of this world has hastened the return of powerful allies. The ancient guardians are coming back. Cenaris, Aviana, Goldrin. I can feel their presence. We must make sure we usher them into this world. Their timely aid will be indispensable. There's got to be like a shortcut, like a way we can just come this way without having to go like all the way around the road. Uh, I saw another quest back here. Maybe I should check that out. Uh, that looks like a breadcrumb into like another another little area, another little pocket, a little pocket of the zone. Let's let's try to come up this way. I have a feeling this is going to end in me having to find the road, but uh, we'll, we'll try to make a little shortcut here. Yeah, there's like just mountains, basically. Um, yeah, no, maybe we can get up over here. No, no, no. They, yeah, you have to take the road. <laughs> you just, you don't have a choice. You have to take the road all the way around. It's, it's not my favorite thing. It's not my favorite thing. I, I kind of like, I like being able to go across country and like see the landscape and I don't really like being forced to get on the road, especially when the road, it kind of takes a roundabout path. But, you know, obviously now I've wasted a bunch of my own time by just not giving into the road to begin with. You have to surrender to the roads. The roads are life now and there is no, there is no world off the roads. You must stay 
on road. It's a pretty zone. I mean, it'd be prettier if I could just run through it. Like, you know, if I if I could just like travel across it. But as you can tell, it's like it's all you got to stay on the road. It's all broken up by these little mountain ranges, and they just kind of they they just hem you in. You, you're playing a video game level here more than you're uh, more than you're exploring a zone. I I would like to see it open up. I'm kind of like I'm hoping that this area here like maybe it opens up a little bit, and like maybe it like feels more like a place where like people live. And less like a place where, like, the only purpose of the place existing is so that, like, events can happen for the story to progress. You know, I'd really like to see it open up into, like, a more natural landscape. Because right now it just do it doesn't feel like a zone in a world. It just feels like a series of little levels I have to progress through. But yeah, what sucks is that it is a beautiful looking zone. It's just, I, I can't appreciate it as much when I don't have, like, more, like, free-roaming access to it. They designed them more for flying. Yeah, that could be, like, I didn't realize, really, or, like, think about the fact that, like, you could fly right away. So, yeah, like, obviously, if I could fly, like, then I would just take a straight shot, like, oh, I'd be like, oh, look at the pretty ground beneath me, like, yeah, like flying would make it a lot easier they almost make it inconvenient for you to not fly like they're like kind of pushing you towards that because if, if you're not flying then you have to, you have to take the road oh dear god what I can't believe is that like we, we still have so many bugs that like the in-game health bars can't give me an actual level here on these guys uh, this is gonna be a time for retaliation um, I don't know if there's anything else we can do. Let's do this. I'm getting shot in the back by something. That's that's gonna kill me eventually. Let's do frenzied regeneration. Let's try to keep ourselves alive. There we go. We actually lived. Can I use a flying mount right now? I don't think I trained flying. Unless they just gave it to the characters, like I, I know, I, I think I no, I think I tried to fly and I couldn't. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can't fly. Yeah, I have, I have no, I have no flying ability right now. I didn't train it. And I, I'd rather not. <laughs> like honestly, my first time through a zone, I would rather not be able to fly through it. I, I find that like you know kind of like crushes some of my immersion well, be kill six twilight hunters at wolf's run okay and what do you have you have a couple of things maybe we'll be let out to go do a couple of quests at a time now that'd be nice uh, slay four twilight proveditors proveditors okay that's a that's an interesting word and what else? Collect 36 Twilight Supplies. Okay, uh, good. Oh, it's, of course. This is like, this is the other problem. It's not really a problem, I guess. I, you know, it's like all the quests are done in the same little area. You, you only go, you only go like so far. Oh shit, am I stealing this guy's items? I'm, I'm pretty sure I just stole this guy's items. Sorry, dude. I'll get my own items. Now it now if he starts taking my items, then like then fair game. I'm gonna I'm gonna loot anything I can. There's one chance here to be civil. Am I PvPing? I'm PvPing? <laughs> I don't want to PvP. This guy was flagged. I didn't know he was flagged. What am I supposed to do now? Son of a biscuit. Okay, well we just kill him. Problem solved. He's dead now. Now we now we loot all the things. We just kill people who get in our way. Oh, shit, now I'm dead. <laughs> oh god, I need some HP. Give me some HP. Sorry, dude. I didn't realize that he was just running around flagged, you know? 
I guess I'm, I should probably loot some of these. There's just like, this is great because there's in, in, instant respawns, permanent respawns. I hope the game is like this when it comes out. There's more than enough bags here for me to get all my supplies, but obviously like I'm never going to have a moment to do that. And now we're dead, which is even better. The game, the game can't be this buggy when it comes out, you know what I mean? Like, it just kind of has to work. It, it has to, it has to be playable and make sense. It, it can't just be like, a shit show. Yeah, I don't, that guy wasn't expecting me to fight him. I didn't expect to be able to fight him. They just need to fix this quest, like, it can't have like, instant respawns on top of where you're fighting and so that you can never loot the bags, like, that's not gonna work. Aw, uh, somebody looted all my bags. Boom chicken! Why you do this to me, man? Why, boom chicken? Why? Why can't you just let me get some of the bags? Why do we have to have this constant struggle? I don't understand what I ever did to you. <laughs> uh, fuck. I kind of low-key hate this guy, and I might keep fighting him until he leaves the area. Because I li he literally looted all those bags. And the only reason I couldn't loot them was because the game is broken. <laughs> Fun fact, I do not normally PvP. Yeah, I kind of hate PvP. But I kind of hate Boom Chicken a little bit more than I hate PvP, so... Boom Chicken, watch out. Coming for you. Where you at? I don't see him. I'm gonna have to take whatever bags I can get. I can't, I can't really afford to be civil here. Like, be, being civil is not, is not working. It's just not... It's just not working. So, I'm gonna click some bags. Oh god. Everybody's PvP in now. So, like, we're just not- we're probably just not gonna be able to do this quest. How long until my PvP thing wears off? Is it- oh, four minutes, okay. Four minutes. And this is why PvP in this game is awful. It's because, like, once you make the mistake of engaging in PvP, you're just, like, you're basically stuck in PvP. You, all your progress has come to a halt now, and now you live here. This is where you live. Karen, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. You caught us in the middle of a little bit of PvP. Uh, I guess I should just hide. Yeah, I, I gotta hide for a couple minutes. I, I like, I don't know, I guess maybe we're on a PvP server, maybe I've always been flagged, I'm not sure. Exactly. Boom chicken man, like, you better get out of here. Because if I see you, I'm gonna PvP you. As soon as I have HP. Let, let's go hide, oh shit, okay. Let's just go get all of our HP back. We'll just hide up here somewhere. Okay, here we go. Level scaling was implemented in, uh, I, th I think it was either Mist of Pandaria or Warlords of Draenor. You know what, it could have been Legion. No, le level scaling wasn't implemented until much later. It, it wasn't Cataclysm. It, it might have been Legion. I I'd have to Google it to know for sure. Well, there we go. We're, we're not getting, like, immediate respawns now, so this might be... This might be happening. This guy's this guy's a true PvPer, man. Like now that he's on me, he's just gonna kill me every time. Uh, I'll I'll give this. I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done with this quest. So we actually should just be able to get out of here. I, I don't have to fight Boom Chicken all day. He's clearly like an actual PvP player. Hmm. 
which is why he walks around flagged, you know. And now I'm I got five more minutes. Most of today is gonna be dedicated to like accidental unwanted PvP now. That's uh that's gonna become most of the uh most of the stream apparently. I, I think we're done here though. Yeah, I think we well <laughs> somewhere I have a quest to turn in somewhere. Uh, no, we're not. We're not done here. No, my quest tracking is just so effed up. Like, the quest tracking just is not... It's not working at all. Like, <laughs> just like... I don't understand how they can't even make any part of the game work properly. I don't get it. Like, is it gonna be this broken in a... It's like literally a month from now this is gonna be live. Like, are they ever gonna fix the problems with it? Or is it just gonna be like a, a sloppy mess... When we're trying to actually level up characters? It's, it's really hard to believe. It keeps, uh, it keeps untracking or not tracking. Like, I, I should be tracking this right now. I have 30 out of 36. If I look over in my objectives, I should see 30 out of 36. It should be listed here under my objectives. I'm clearly tracking the quest. It's checked, indicating that I'm tracking it, but it's not showing up. I don't have any add-ons running, like, you know, there are no add-ons interfering with this. Uh, it's just base, blizzard, broken UI. It's broken. You think it'll be fine? It better be fine. This is, un it's unacceptable levels of broken. Uh, for stuff that's existed in the game for over a decade, like, it makes no sense, it makes no sense why it's so broke. That's my worry. It's like, there's no reason for quest tracking to be broken. It's not broken in Wrath of the Lich King. It's not broken in retail. Like, there's no reason for it to be this broke. So, like, what's the problem? What's the what's the problem exactly that it's so broken? Why why are my health bars broken? Health bars are not broken in Wrath of the Lich King. Health bar, health bars are not broken in retail. So why are my health bars so effing broken to the point where the game can't even tell me what level an enemy is? Does that make any sense? Like you can't get your health bars to work, your in-game health bars that have been in the game since 2004, you can't get them to show me a character level? That seems weird. That's, that's concerning. The thing is, I don't think they were broken last time we played. I'm pretty sure last time we played the beta, we could see character levels and we didn't see all the icons hanging out up here. So it just, it kind of worries me when I see stuff like this. Because it seems like it's like things are getting worse. Yeah, they're, well, they have to use the Dragonflight client, I think, because I don't think that they don't... It's like, basically, they don't have a working copy. Not a working copy, like a copy that works. They don't have, like, a development copy of the original Cataclysm client. Like, there's... They, they can't. They have to use the Dragonflight client. But they can't seem to get that to work either. So, I don't know. It's... Very confusing to me, but yeah, maybe it'll all just maybe it'll all just magically work uh, once the game is live. Like yeah, maybe in a month from now, like they'll have fixed all this stuff. I guess I don't know. It's possible. We're just taking pot shots from somebody. Got a ring upgrade here. Uh, it, w it went somewhere. Yeah, the ring went somewhere into my bags. Here we go. We got 34 seconds until, until Boom Chicken can't kill me anymore. We have to kill hunters. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm not seeing hunters. Oh, here we go. There, there's some of them just like kind of hanging out.
this is the other thing this this happens in wrath of the lich king too like you will come into your map you will track a quest okay a and you'll have it highlight the area and it will stay like this for a little while but eventually one of these times you will open your map and then you'll just be tracking a different thing there's no there's no permanency to what you choose to track it will it will change itself uh just randomly and this is this ha is something that happens in wrath of the lich king as well like eventually, you know, if I stay on this quest long enough, I will open my map and we will simply be tracking the other quest uh, without me taking any action to make it do that. It'll, it'll do it on its own. Yeah, like I probably I probably will like upon release I will disable all of the in-game stuff and I probably will just use Questy. As much as I would like to just simply be add-on free, if you can't if you put quest tracking into the game but then you can't actually make it work, then I'm just gonna use quest tracking that does actually work. You see what I mean? Do you, do you see how, like, already, it's like, we fought one guy, we got one mark of completion towards the quest, as soon as that happened, it, it started tracking the other quest. Like, all, all on its own, I can keep changing this back all day, it's, if I, if I stay on this quest, it would, it'll keep changing it off. It's almost like it, it treats every single objective ping like as as quest complete. So like every time you hit one of the objectives, it says, "Okay, good, you're done with this quest," and it moves you to tracking another quest automatically. It 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 treats every objective ping as quest complete. Yeah, it's really weird. It happens in Wrath of the Lich King as well. Oh hey, did they did they finally put the Cataclysm Dungeon Finder live? Or are we gonna get an error? No, we're not gonna get an error. We can get into Throne of Tides and Blackrock Caverns. Is there anybody testing these things? That's the that's the real question. Is anybody else actually testing the game? How may I Yeah, now the Dungeon Finder was not active the last time we played. But again, the dungeon finder being the dungeons being testable relies like entirely on other people playing, which I, I don't know if that's the case. Ah, uh, do I? Yeah, I guess we keep heading this way. Eventually, we'll probably make our way down here. They added LFD when they did the pre-patch announcement. Oh, that's cool. I I'm sure for that first couple of days, people were actually like on testing the dungeons. Uh, we have to get. Do I don't know where we're going. I guess. I guess you know what? We probably just have to follow the road. Yeah, we we just probably just keep following the road, and that'll probably get us there. Uh, that involves running right through an enemy camp. Awesome, awesome. That's fine. Fine with this.
and thunder. Go forth to victory. Alexi, we're in queue for 30 minutes and didn't get a group. Awesome. So in other words, the dungeons are not going to be tested before release. Got it. Well, that's kind of a bummer. No, it looks like no one is not, you know, they might be doing the dungeons, but if anybody's doing the dungeons, they are not doing them through the looking for dungeon tool. Maybe, maybe they're doing like pre-made testing. I don't know. But no, there's, there's not even like another DPS queued up. I wonder if they're going to do any like focused raid testing where they let people make like a pre-made max level character and test the raids or if they're just going to wing it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Amy, that's awesome. I'm glad he enjoyed it. Make sure you have them buzz his hair really short. <laughs> Just like buzz it off completely. And I would love coffee. Yeah. Everyone in chat wants a coffee too. Make sure you uh, make sure you email everybody in chat a coffee. If you, if you can't bring it up for the whole class. Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, it looks like we are going back along the road. There's got to be a, a better way for me to... Oh, maybe these maybe these switchbacks. Um, are these going to get me up and out to the road, though? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they will. This might have been the route I should have taken. But look, like there's not even like a trail marked on the map for this. Clearly, this was the way to go. Oh, we're back. I wish these guys would phase out, kind of. They're just kind of, they're kind of a nuisance. Uh, okay, so... Requires an altar. Is this the altar? This is not the altar. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so we're looking for something that's actually an altar. Is this the altar? This looks like a wagon, not an altar. Okay, that's not the altar. Uh, oh. Are we even, like, are we even in the right area? It, it's not down there, is it? You know what? I feel like maybe it's down in that cave. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, this is... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're, we're dead. Yep, that's it. Hey, we can't fly, but at least our, our, at least our spirit can fly. It's better than nothing. Coaches, good evening. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here. Uh, we are we are running low on food. There better be uh, yeah. There's the altar right here. Yep. Without an elevation marker, I just kind of assumed it was up in those people's camp, up top on the ledge. They seem the type of people that have an altar. I like how we killed them before the voice acting finished. Here we go, this is a, a neck upgrade. Alright, what do we got? This looks like some Warcraft 3 stuff right here. This is like classic Warcraft 3 cutscene camera angle. It looks about as good as Warcraft 3 too. What do we what do we got going on? Okay, he like tell he beams some people in off the Starship Enterprise. Um okay. They seem happy. Oh no, they were no they weren't happy. No nope, nobody's I misread the room. They weren't happy at all. Okay, well, they probably feel better now that that's over. Okay, okay, he's... This seems good. 
Oh, we were on him. I didn't realize we had jumped onto him. So now we got a little a little town down here. Did we have these guys before? I think some of these guys are new. Yeah, the shrine is ours again. Okay, cool. It, it's seemingly still phasing back in. So we took this place back over. That's nice to actually see like a little bit of phasing happen. Uh, I want to sell like basically all the stuff in my inventory. I, I don't think I need. I'm gonna sell everything. I don't think. I think it's tanking gear that I don't that I don't need. Of course, of course, I can't sell any of this stuff they gave me. They should, they should make this sellable for like one copper, just so you can easily get it out of your inventory. Cause yeah, now it's now it's all just stuck in my inventory. Uh, no, I wanted. Did I want to equip that? I think I wanted to equip that. Yeah, I did. There we go. For the alliance. Okay, let's let's not worry about the inventory right now. I guess. I'll worry about the inventory when the game is actually live. Uh, seek out the Eye of Twilight. Okay. From the Mouth of Madness. I'm pretty sure that's a Lovecraft reference. Gather up Stone Bloom, Bitter Blossom, and Dark Flame Ember. See you later. It's it's all two feet away from us. So yeah, obviously, it's obviously just two feet away from us. What are my thoughts on War Within? I mean, I don't have a lot of thoughts yet because I haven't played it. I'm looking forward to War Within. Yeah, I think it's going to be a fun time. But uh, other than like general hype for the expansion, like I don't really, I don't really have a lot of thoughts yet. Once I've played the beta, I'll, I'll have some more thoughts. Eva, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here. Dustin, did I did I say what I decided to roll at launch, like at the launch of Cataclysm? Yeah, you know, before Blizzard, like, up their timetable by an entire month, I had thought I would be taking, like, the mage, the Blood Elf Mage into Cataclysm. But, you know, when they said the game was going to come out on May 20th instead of coming out sometime in August, that kind of, that kind of, it basically upended all of my plans. All of my plans for Cataclysm were upended uh, when they decided that the expansion would come out on May 20th instead of June 20th or August 20th, like like I kind of expected. According to the roadmap, it should have been out a little bit later in the summer. So yeah, like, I don't know. The So far, the class I've been having the most fun on is the Warrior. Uh, that being said, I don't think, I, I think we're getting like, what, like it's like a three week pre-patch, right? If the, if the Cataclysm happens on April 30th and the game comes out May 20th, it's like a three-week pre-patch. I don't think that's going to be enough time for me to get a warrior <laughs> to level 85. Unfortunately, for better or worse, I'm probably going to be stuck on my on my rep pally because when my rep pally is 80, I have a level 80 shaman as well. I, I guess like if I if I really hated the rep pally, I could go on the shaman. When we played the Paladin a couple weeks ago in the beta, it just like the button pressing on the Paladin felt really bleh. It didn't, it didn't feel really good. So. Yeah, it's so, so yeah, like all my plans were upended and now I don't know. It's, it's a problem. These buttons are really, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to play a warrior. Uh, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Oh, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I, oh, I need all of these items, and then we have to put them all into the thing. Yeah, I don't I don't have the items. So that's an issue. 
Not even really sure where I would get the items from. We could investigate this area here. Craig, I'm doing well, man. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, War Within, I think War Within will be a good time to get into retail if you're if you're not already playing retail. It'll be a good time to jump back in. Uh, the start of an expansion is always a good time to try the game out again. Uh, I don't know if there's anything back here that we need, but there is a quest back here. Yeah, like for whatever reason, my quest tracking just, it just won't track all my quests. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. It's just, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to keep track of my quest in my head when it's not really showing most of them over here in the objectives list. Yeah, we're just going to let him hang there for a while. He'll be fine. Aperdon, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Activate the four nearby elemental crucibles in the correct order to make the control... to take control of the Eye of Twilight. In the correct order, of course. The correct order. I know I know the correct order. Uh, water, fire, air, and earth. Okay, so obviously, like, anybody knows the correct order. I don't... I don't know the order. Whoops. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. So, like, I think fire was the first one. Water was not the second one. It's probably easy to determine this based on, like, other information that I'm neglecting. Fire. That didn't work. Okay. Fire. Earth. Air. Water. There we go. I think we I think we did it. I think we figured it out all on our own. Oh, that's an intellect belt. We don't need that. Oh my god. A dungeon? Oh my god, we got into a dungeon. Fire, earth, air, and water. It's a Captain Planet reference? Was it really? That's awesome. I mean, I watched Captain Planet as a kid too, but I, di I didn't think that they'd be making a Captain Planet reference. I guess, you know, shame on me. Uh, I have a weird thing on my head that I wish I, wish I didn't have this. I, yeah, but I have it anyway, so what can I do? Uh, 
I'm not using whirlwind. Is it whirlwind? Uh, it might be. It might be sweeping strikes. I'm not sure. I'm not using whirlwind though. Uh, there's there's blade storm, which is on a cooldown. I, I seem to have been trapped in some kind of trap. I ran these dungeons so many times back in Cataclysm, so many times on Heroic, like farming Heroics, but I, I also don't really have a, like a clear memory of any of these guys. Although, like, yeah, this, this guy seems familiar. Doesn't he chain somebody to the ground or something? Like, I don't know. We'll, we'll, let's see what he does. Yeah, Chains of Woe. No, I, yeah, no, I do remember these. Yeah, I did these a bunch. I, I, I feel like I did more heroics in uh, in Cataclysm than I did at any other point in my life. Probably have to kill the adds here. Right, okay. Yeah, I remember this. Start still from a crack your stones. Oh god, now I have it. It didn't see- I remember it being, like, impactful, like, it could, I, okay, okay, there we go, yeah. I- that's- that's more what I remembered. I remembered- I remembered dying, yeah. Let, let's see if maybe we'll get a- oh, who- who was it that died? I hope it wasn't the healer. Ah, uh, we got some cloth robes here. We got a res, that's amazing. I feel like we're supposed to let this guy, like, do his thing. And, like, he'll clear all this stuff for us. Or, uh, okay, okay, no, he's, he's fine. Yeah, let's let him do his thing. We got somebody, somebody DC'd. That's, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm sure we can format it.
Oh man, yeah, I remember all these fights. It's so weird. I feel like, yeah, like, we gotta kill these guys, right? I feel like killing this guy is probably, probably important. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but, uh, yeah, I feel like he just can't be allowed to run amok. I'm not sure. I remember these guys, like, coming down the stairs and... Yeah, like, maybe take him over here could be good. Uh, we got a wand here with the 100 stamina, 67 intellect, 48 mastery, improves hit rating. I don't think the mechanics matter a lot on normal. Yeah, uh, on heroic, we, you know, we probably would have had to do it a very specific way. Uh, I don't think on normal it mattered very much. Maybe, maybe it did and I just wasn't paying attention, I don't know. I, I was too busy trying to kill the ad. E even the heroics probably won't be super hard until they put in like the alpha, beta, and gamma runs though. Like, we're, we're not going to get the the heroics that launched with Cataclysm back in the day. Because th those heroics were only super hard for one week, and then Blizzard, Blizzard nerfed them, like, very hard very quickly. And we're definitely going to get the nerfed versions of them. So they're not they're probably not going to be as hard as you might remember them being. Because, yeah, we, week one of the heroics, they were, like, incredibly hard. I remember we had to use, like, all of our CC on, like, most pulls. But yeah, a week later they were much easier. And we'll probably start with the much easier versions, then eventually they'll probably do what they did with Wrath of the Lich King, where we'll have uh, Titan Rune, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. They'll probably call them something different, but uh, I'm sure eventually they'll put the harder ones into the game. I'm not sure if these are an upgrade or not. I'm gonna roll on them and we'll uh, we'll take a look at them. It's a higher item level. I don't know if the stats are better. Marlena, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here.
Uh, like some kind of mechanic here where there's like the fire and the ring and then like the slimes that do, maybe they chase you. Like there, there, are, there are important mechanics here. Am I going to remember any of them right now? No, probably not. Yeah, we have to clear the room first, probably. Yeah, like that mechanic there, like, there's probably something I have to do specifically, but, uh, yeah, it'll probably be okay on normal if I just don't know what's happening. Just focus on DPSing the boss. I think he has to melt the armor off of him, right? But then, like, the counterpoint of melting the armor off of him is that it's dealing damage to the group while it's happening. Yeah, it's something to do with melting the armor off him so we can actually damage him efficiently but without going too hard on it to where we're taking too much damage. Yeah, on normal, just really thoughtless. Uh, yeah, let's, let's roll on that. Cool, cool, cool. We'll get all this loot in the- we'll get a bunch of loot in the beta, and then, like, we won't get anything when the game is actually out. Shadow, you wonder if it'll be faster to level with Joyous Journeys now in Wrath, or wait until Cata Pre-Patch? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not- I'm not sure. You know, they, they originally said one of the- one of the PowerPoint slides at BlizzCon said faster leveling. So, like, I'm assuming that they wouldn't take a step backwards. I'm assuming it would be at least as fast as the Joyous Journeys. But when we leveled the character, like, a few weeks ago in the beta, like, I don't think the, I don't think the XP scaling was right, because we were leveling at, like, vanilla speeds. It, it seemed really slow when we tried it a few weeks ago in the, in the beta. I'm assuming they just didn't have it all dialed in yet. I would say, like, I would say, like, if you want to get a character ready for Cataclysm by May 20th, like, you really can't afford to wait for the pre-patch. Because the pre-patch the pre is not going to last very long. You know, the pre-patch is going to start on April 30th, and the game's going to be out on May 20th, so we're getting a very, very short pre-patch, and they're just generally rushing the game out. So, yeah, you should probably start leveling with the Joyous Journeys, and then hope that, in the pre-patch, hope that it just gets even faster. Because otherwise, unless you're going to play four or five hours a day, you, pro you probably won't get a character up in time. 
they busted my plans with the mage, uh, you know, by upping their schedule by, you know, months. So, like, there, it became, like, basically there was no way I was going to get the mage leveled up and ready to go into the content in time. I, I had expected to have till, like, the beginning of August or the end of June to get that character capped. We got, we got hosed by some flame-spouting dogs. I think they have to be tanked and pointed away from us. I, I don't think that we can uh, just have them all willy-nilly attacking everybody. Okay, uh, this is not where you- this is like- this- this is like PTSD level of spirit run, like this is not where I want to be. This is not where I want to be. I hope somebody knows the way because I have no idea. I- I kind of despise this place. I- I hate trying to get back to the dungeons here. I'm always lost. Okay, we- we seem to have made it. Mmm, okay, this looks sketchy, yeah. Completely sketchy. Okay. Oh no, wait, did I not? Okay, nope, 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 they went a different way. Uh, they went this way. Shit, okay, here they are. Oh, okay, um, yeah, like, I don't think I'm gonna make this jump. Okay, okay, I did. Uh, sort of. No, not really. God, this is awful. This can't be my life. Uh, like, sure, like, I get you. Like, where are we going? We going down? Okay, yeah, down is easier. Yeah, I'd rather just go down here. Can we do that? No? Does anybody know how to get to the dungeon? <laughs> Blizzard, do we have to do a spirit run when we die? Or can we simply appear alive at the start of the actual dungeon? Please. Please. If I do a group in looking for Dungeon Finder and I get teleported to the dungeon, please don't make me do a spirit run. Because nobody knows how to get their bodies back. <laughs> oh god. Uh, whelp? <laughs> whelp, he says? Whelp, I don't know. Like, nobody knows how to get their bodies back. How do we, how do we get our bodies back? How do I just, can I would love to just get my body back and hearth out of here. I don't even know where my hearthstone is set. At this point, like... Is there a way to get my body back or am I just stuck as a spirit forever? I feel like I'm just effed. Like, this character is over. I'm gonna literally have to delete this character. I guess I could run out onto the map and try to find, like, a spirit healer out in, in like, the zone. And just, like, spirit res would be, like, the only thing. Like, I don't, I don't, I, maybe this is not intended, like. This is so bad. I, I can't even, like, leave instance group or anything. Oh, God. This is awful. I'm, I just have to assume that it wouldn't act this way if the game were live. This has to be, like, some kind of bug. Everyone has left us. I don't even have, like, do I not even have a way to leave the group? I don't even, I don't even seem to have a way to, uh, to leave the group. Uh, let's see. My god, I'm trying to like actually like leave the party. Okay, we've left the party. That did not that did not solve our problem though. We're still we're still just as much a spirit like what is a person to do in this situation? You would think that like any of the portals could get us our body back, you know? 
Like if I if I just were to phase into like any of the uh Oh shit. Oh here we go. Oh, return me to life, please God. Thank you, God. And then like I don't know where this is set. I oh Silver Moon City. <laughs> Silver Moon City Oh man. That's uh that's a tough one, I'll tell you. I don't really even know what to do from here. I guess I'd have to get to Ogremar. Um I'd have to somehow get to Ogremar and then I could talk to the guy to teleport me to Hyjal. Like, Jesus Christ. Are there are there portals somewhere maybe in uh in, in Silver Moon? Like some kind of easy way to do this? I don't I don't have a dollar on Hearthstone or anything. I'm just like, yeah, like I'm sure the game will work perfectly when it comes out. Oh man. It's gonna take if I if I wanna try to even get back to questing, it's gonna take at least ten minutes. Uh, all I can really think to do... Okay, no, here we go. Yeah, I have to... I have to take the teleporter to the Undercity. There's a portal to the Undercity where the portal trainer is. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I gotta go... Right, I gotta go to the Undercity. I gotta get on the Zeppelin. Right, I know. It's just like a huge pain in the ass, though. Like, I, I don't really want to do it. I don't really want to do it. That's kind of where I'm at. I've been having a lot of fun on the Warrior today. The, the problem is that I'm not going to have time to level up a Warrior from scratch to take into the Cataclysm. Like I just simply, I, I don't, I'm, I don't have the time. Um, you know, if we had gotten like a six-week pre-patch, then yeah, like absolutely, it would have been a possibility. But with like a three week pre patch, like I, I just don't think it's possible. I would have to play that character a lot more than I really want to. Especially with season four coming out this week. Uh, Portal Trainer. Uh, isn't it like, yeah, it's like back here somewhere. It's in its own little separate room. I, I have a, I have a Tauren warrior who's like, well, he's like level 70 something. And he doesn't have any equipment on because at some point I stripped all of his gear and I vendored it all for gold because I was broke and I needed gold to buy some character a tome of cold weather flying. So at some point I stripped him of all of his gear and uh, yeah, he uh, he still exists. He is he is completely naked. Um, and he has no gear. And, you know, that wouldn't be, like, too bad of a problem, I guess, except that the economy in Wrath of Lich King is so borked that I don't even have the- I don't even have the gold to get him, like, some basic crafted gear to, like, just straighten him out and to ever be able to play him again. So he, he's kind of just borked. Yeah. That's it. Any questions for stuff to do around KC? I haven't lived in KC for it's been it's been almost five years now, so like I really wouldn't be the one to ask. Yeah, we lived there for a long time, but we, we moved back in uh, in 2020. We moved back to Michigan, so. And I'm not really like an extroverted person, so like, even when I was there, like the kinds of stuff we did was like more family stuff. We'd go to the museum out in Prairie Village. We'd go to the KC Zoo, do stuff downtown, like. Uh, and now I need I need the Zeppelin for Ogre Mar Ooh, I don't I don't know. I guess maybe it's this Zeppelin tower. I'm probably not gonna make it on this one. Probably not gonna make it. Oh, 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 okay, we made it. We did it! <sighs> So yeah, so so yeah, because I thought I thought about dusting that warrior off, like you know, just getting him the last of his levels to get him to eighty would be okay. But I would probably need like at least a little bit of equipment in order to be able to quest with him, 
uh, in Northrend content. And then besides that, you know, I have my Rat Pally. And I have a I have a boosted level 80 shaman that I never quite figured out how to play. And of the two of those, we tried out the Rat Paladin a few weeks ago in the beta and I just I did it didn't feel good. The button pressing didn't feel good. It felt incredibly weak, especially compared to the warrior now. It felt it felt really weak. Like maybe I was just doing the rotation wrong or something. I don't know. Uh, and I have to remember, it was somewhere in the Valley of Wisdom that we had the portal. Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to get back to where I was. <laughs> Realistically, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be able to get back to, to the zone. I, I, don't, I don't know if the portals are open. Um, I can't even seem to find a way to get back to the Valley. I need to get back over here. Maybe I can come down here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, the likelihood is this character is probably not going to get back. There's Bynon equips in the guild bank. I don't I don't even think my warrior is is in the guild. <laughs> as cool as that would be, Alex, I'm pretty sure that I'm just uh I'm just not in the guild. Yes, yeah, see. Okay, no, here we go. Portal of the High Gel. There is a portal here. Perfect. Yeah, the, the he's not he's not in the guild, and um, I I have to see if maybe somebody's on sometime that I I, I have to sign him in and see. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably you know I'll probably just end up taking the rat pally into cataclysm. I'm I'm not sure. Set my Hearthstone. That I don't know if there is a place for my Hearthstone here. Maybe there is. I just didn't see it. Let's track some stuff. Would be a good idea. I'm tracking. Not tracking innkeepers is a bad idea. Here we go. There is an innkeeper. I just wasn't tracking innkeepers, so I just didn't see him. I am listening. Uh, there we go. Let's make this in our home. Perfect. Yeah, we probably should have done that like straight away. I'm kind of surprised that there are there are there, are there flight points. Like, can I can I take a flight out to where I was? It seems like that'd be a place that you'd want to have a flight going to. But maybe not. Oh yeah, we got... Well, I... I don't know. I, I can't zoom in any more than this on the map. This is the map that I get? <laughs> That's it? That's the map that I get for flights? I can't... I can't see anything there. I can't... Hey buddy, thanks. I appreciate it. As long as you're just gonna give me the coffee and not take over the stream. That'd be cool. You can say hi. I, Let's, I just got this. Um, I appreciate the coffee. You're welcome. I just got this um, Squishmallow. Mm. And his name is um, Maxi. I also got Stuffy. She's not really my poke. Stuffy, she's not really new. Yeah. Ooh, I like your bird. Dad. I'm going to pick a random flight and we'll see if I get anywhere. Uh, because yeah, I, I can't I can't zoom in enough to tell like what flight's gonna take me where. But yeah, you know, maybe I'll check out the shaman. Maybe I'll check out a shaman in the beta. And like, so I'll, I'll probably either take my paladin or my shaman. I don't think I'm going to bother trying to level anything else up. Because I don't have time and I, I have other things that I would, uh, I'd rather do with my time. I, I had thought about like seeing the, like trying to see all the old world zones and stuff. But like, I kind of decided that if I really wanted to see all the old world zones, like it would just be better to do that in retail. And I've already seen a lot of them in retail because I've leveled a few characters in retail through the old world content and that's the same content that we're going to see when the world gets remade for Cataclysm so I've already kind of seen it all. Be careful. And, and I don't know if I need to level up any more characters. Farewell. And like I said, if I, if I was going to level Farewell. up more characters like... God is 
I, I just don't have like a big interest in leveling through the uh through the remade old world. Be careful. I, I'd rather do like some vanilla leveling. If I wanted to actually have a leveling journey that felt like a leveling journey. Uh so yeah, it took me here. This is not this is not really where I was. I need to be over here at the shrine of uh of Goldrin. Maybe I should just look for that name, and maybe we can get our way- Otherwise, we can just run there, I guess. I'd rather just fly there. I am the Grove of Asina? Like, does that get me a little bit closer, maybe? Let's go see. Yeah, and then like if I if I if I if I see the cataclysm zones in retail, like the zones look better. They have a greater view distance. They have all the lighting changes from the dragonflight patch where they fixed all the lighting in the old world. So yeah, I don't know. I've kind of I've been I've been missing vanilla leveling, but uh, the vanilla classic era servers are like basically completely dead, to the point where like there's not even stuff on the auction house. See, this took me too far. <laughs> okay, we got we got closer. We got closer. Let me see if I can just find the road and I can just like run back to where we were at. Yep, I've been missing classic leveling to a, to a point where I have been I have been thinking about like I've been thinking about leveling up a character in Sod just like for myself to experience the leveling journey and to ignore like all the other content until I hit 60. That's what's kind of been on my mind. Uh, because then like at, at least you're in vanilla era with other people around because when I when I try to play on the classic era servers, it's kind of depressing how like the auction house is kind of like there's nothing on the auction house. There's nobody doing like low level dungeons. No no one wants to do like dead mines with me. It's kind of sad. And I guess like the only place if you want to level through vanilla era stuff, the only place to do that and like see other people around is going to be sad. You know, as soon as the cataclysm happens, you're not going to have access to those zones anymore. Unless you're playing sod or playing classic era. Uh 8 twilight storm colors, 5 howling rift dwellers. Would I say now is a good time to level a fresh tune in retail? Yeah, absolutely. Hello. Yeah, you probably want to do that like soonish. Goodbye. Leveling in retail is pretty smooth, and uh, if you if you do it during a time walking week, a good thing to do is like do a questing journey up to level sixty, and then at level sixty, just run run time walking dungeons, and get get from sixty to seventy doing time walking dungeons. That way, you don't have to do the dragonflight content. Unless you've never seen the Dragonflight content, in that case, like, the Dragonflight content is pretty okay. You could just level through Dragonflight, but it's, it's much faster once you're 60 just to do, like, a handful of time-walking dungeons and get to 70 that way. Uh, again, without my quest tracking actually, like, working, with the quest tracking broken, it's very hard to, like, keep in my head, like, what we're working on without being able to see it over here. I don't know why this is borked. We could try to do a reload. Maybe a reload will fix it. Oh yeah, Sh Shadow has a point. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Shadow. You you could wait and just level a character up in the Pandarian remix. Like, if you if you wait and you level up a character in the Panda remix, you'll be you can earn yourself some cool transmog, and you'll probably hit max level in like four hours. So yeah, it, it seems like that might be a way to go. If you if you need to have like a really 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 fast leveling journey, like you got no time at all to play the game. Then you could just do Mr. Pandaria Remix when it comes out. That being said, we don't know when that's coming out. It could come out anytime. I have no idea what we're doing here. We need a key. We need a charged condenser jar. We need uh, storm callers and rift dwellers. I, I haven't seen any of these mobs. All all I see are, are like ogres. So I'm not really sure. The quest tracking in this game, the, the, this this version of the quest tracking really sucks. It would almost be more useful to have no quest tracking. 
because then I would be forced to read the quest and then I'd probably be able to figure out what I was doing. I don't know what they're going to do with the gear that you get in Mr. Pandaria Remix. I have no idea. I, I don't think your Remix character is going to become a retail character until War Within is open. Like, when, when your Mr. Pandaria character hits cap, they don't, they don't just become a Dragonflight character. Your Mr. Pandaria character does not become a retail character until the Mr. Pandaria event ends. And we don't know when the event ends. But I have a feeling it will be around the uh, War Within pre-patch or possibly just like the opening of War Within. I don't think you're going to be leveling up a character in Mr. Pandaria Remix and then taking them into Dragonflight Season 4. That's not going to happen. Uh, and that way they don't really have to worry about it. But yeah, again, we, we don't know when the Mr. Pandaria thing is coming out. Uh, I'm kind of assuming it'll be at the end of May. Like, you could have a character already capped by then. I would say level 1 character normally. And then when Mr. Pandaria Remix comes out, level another character. That's kind of what I'm doing. I have, I have the Warrior going in retail for the recorded series, and then uh, we're going to level that character up just through questing and whatnot. And then when Mr. Pandaria comes out, I'm either going to do a Hunter or, or a Rogue. Probably a Hunter, though to have another range class option going into War Within. On the War Within Alpha, the Mr. Pandaria remix shows as May 14th. That, that makes sense. Yeah, middle or end of May. May 14th would put it uh, before Cataclysm launch. So, you know, you'd have a few days. It'd be nice to have a few days with Mop Remix before Cata drops. Get a character to level. And then do whatever I'm going to do in Cataclysm, which right now is probably just going to be to go from 80 to 85. See what happens after that. When is the full release uh, of which of which version of the game? Uh, War Within, we don't know. Except it'll probably be Autumn. Cataclysm full release is on May 20th. But yeah, War Within, we don't have any idea. But we have a small idea. We, we have a time frame on the roadmap, but uh, not like an actual date. Uh, it's marking something below us, like down, maybe down in this cave, I guess. Uh, another, ca another cave situation. And yeah, may maybe everything else we need is possibly down there. There's not really like a... The quickest way down is obviously like just to die. Oh, we didn't die. That's that's really nice.
Lael, have a good day, man. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Can I help you? See you around. See you later. Be careful. For the Alliance. See you around. And now we're escorting him out, of course. Have a good one. Oh, he's gonna follow us, though. Okay, this is a this is a good type of escort quest. He's gonna move at our pace. We're not gonna have to worry about uh, him moving at his pace. What's the pre-expansion patch on April 30th? That's when the old world's gonna change, uh, you know? Like, they're gonna, the cataclysm is gonna happen, all the old world zones are gonna change. And they're also putting in the worgen and the goblin uh, in the pre-patch. Uh, you know, there's this... a couple other guys we need. And I, I guess we need them from up top. I, I can't wait till the game is out and I, I can just use Questy and have like some semi-reliable quest tracking. Like, I'd love to be able to see my objectives over here. I, I can't understand why they can't even get that working. Like, yeah, no matter what I do, I, I can't get any of these quests to show up properly. It's crazy. Why would a horde guy rescue someone who says for the Alliance? It's because they, you know, they don't want to make up different quests for each faction anymore. It, w it was about, like, this time in history when they, they just kind of, like, gave up on, uh, on making faction-specific quest chains and stuff like that. Like, most of the stuff that you do is shared across faction. I didn't pick up flying. No, I did. I didn't pick up flying. No, I, I kind of wanted to see the zones like on foot a little bit, especially like during the beta. When now, when the game is out live, I'll, I'll probably just fly around like everybody else. But it's uh, it's nice to see the zones a little bit. That being said, I, I kind of regret it. Th this zone is obviously made for you to fly around. This zone is not made to be navigated on foot. So it's my bad. Uh, one more Stormcaller, and I have to find this Dark Flame Ember, and I, I have no idea where it's at. Apparently there's a quest back here. Uh, somewhere, maybe the quest is underground. I'm not. I'm not uh, entirely sure what's happening with this. It's, it's again, it's like telling me to go back into the same cave. I feel like we've been in this cave like so many times. It's telling me to go back in there again. So, I don't know. Sesh, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. I'd love to find this other item. Dark Flame Ember from one of the brazers at the Hovel entrance. Okay, the Hovel entrance. Is this the Hovel? I, I guess this is the Hovel, and so there, there should be like some kind of torches or something I can get this item from. Maybe, maybe something over here. Shadow, you read in a recent interview that they plan on WoW content for the next 30 years. Was that was that like a Bellular interview or something? I think I saw that headline too. That's nice. You know, it's easy to say that you plan like, oh yeah, we plan WoW content for 30 years. Like obviously, like what, what are they going to say? 
Uh, yeah, we plan for like five years ahead. You know, we're really short term thinkers and we just we really plan just for the immediate future. Like, yeah, of course, like when asked, they're going to like I exaggerate as much as they can for what they have planned. What I, what they probably mean is like they, they plan to have to have WoW going for another 30 years, which is obviously that's what you want, right? Like, you know, you're a game developer. Your, your game has been going for 20 years. So obviously, like, your goal is to have that game going for 30 more years. Like, it's not, like, them saying that's not a surprise. Does that mean that they have every expansion thought out for the next 30 years? No, absolutely not. It just means that they want the game to be around and they're going to do what they can to make sure the game exists. Which is all you would really want a company to say in that situation. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this thing is about, the Dark Flame member. This looks like it would be my item. From one of the braziers at the hovel entrance, the drought won't last long, so combine the ingredients. Yeah, I don't know what this thing wants me to do. Oh, it's outside. Yeah, it's outside somewhere. Somewhere there's like a little fire thing I can, uh, maybe, maybe it's the thing I'm looking at. If I look straight ahead, I do see like a little, a little bit of sparkly action. Maybe that's the thing I need. This, this, this might be it. This is a brazier, or however you pronounce the word. I just, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now we come here. Look at that. It just took like 30 minutes. Yeah, th this, is, this zone is the personification of a video game level. It is not a it is not a place that exists within a big open world. It is a place that has been thoroughly designed for you to run through like a video game level. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure all the level 80 to 85 zones are, are like that. The way the biggest thing that contributes to it feeling like a video game area, like a, just a, another level is that all of the quests happen in pockets, right? We had this pocket up here, we did a bunch of quests in a tiny little pocket. We've now got this pocket over here, we've been doing a ton of quests in the same, like, it's the same 20 yards. Like, how many times have I been into the cave already? And, and then eventually we'll move down, we'll move into this pocket over here, and then we'll come into this pocket over here, and we'll end up in this pocket over here. And so, like, instead of it being a zone that's inhabited, that has, like, natural stuff going on in it, it's just, like, event, 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 event. And that's the entire zone. And the water zone was very much the exact same way. It felt small, it felt claustrophobic, and it just felt like, you know, you do a bunch of stuff in this 20-yard area, and then you head down the road, uh, to the next 20 yard area. It's like a bunch of different Northshire abbeys, basically. It's like one tiny little area after another. And I don't know, I, I don't really remember like the later zones, like maybe Oldham, maybe Oldham opens up a bit. Maybe it's like has more open lines of sight. But yeah, it's uh, it's not, it's not my favorite type of, uh, type of world design. And I think that ultimately they probably regret this kind of world design when they look back on it now. Because compared to this, like, Dragonflight questing, especially if you're doing, like, side quests while you're leveling up in Dragonflight, like, it's so much more open in Dragonflight. So I feel like they probably look back and they probably regret this kind of stuff a little bit. I looted some shoulders. Here they are. There we go. What do you need? Dabu. Uh, let's see. Oh, a belt. Yeah, we can definitely use the belt. With honor. Yeah, the 80 to 85 stuff, it's, it's definitely content that I... I really only, I'm going to have the desire to do it one time. I'm going to read as many quests as I can when the game launches. I'm going to go through the 80 to 85 content probably one time. And I, I can't see myself wanting to take many characters through the content. Uh, so up here we are, we are 
freeing servitors now. Okay. We have to find and free. See how we're back in the same area. We've already been here for a couple quests. Now we're back. We're doing something slightly different. So I don't see any servitors though. That's the problem. That's the biggest problem, which means that they're probably in a cave. <laughs> they're in the cave, aren't they? It's like, yeah, the guy, right? We've been here for like an hour questing almost. And it's like the guys that the objectives we need, they're either up here on the ledge or they're down there in the cave. And that's the really the only two areas that we've been in. It doesn't, yeah. Like, God, they gotta be down in the cave. And there's still another quest in the cave. It just, it just like, it really leaves me like missing like more classic era questing where like you pick up a bunch of quests from a town, the quests are all over the map, you head out into the world, you stay out in the world, you, you do a bunch of quests for an hour and like an hour later you come back to town and you turn in all your quests. Like I like much prefer that to doing two quests, running 20 feet back to the quest giver, doing two more quests, running 20 feet, like it's... It's just not really, like, what you want from, like, a big open-world experience. This, yeah, it, this is annoying without flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm, yeah. Like, now I know, right? Like, obviously, th this zone was just made for you to zip around on a mount. It, it was not made for a person to experience, like, on foot. It was not made for a person to experience the way that I like to experience the game. Like, when I have, when I encounter new zones for the first time, I like to actually be on foot and see them and kind of get immersed in them. The way this zone is, uh, is designed with all the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in small areas with a lot of elevation, it, it's not designed for a person that's trying to just, like, get immersed and be on foot. This area is designed for a person who is trying to level up as quickly as possible. And it's probably, if you know the questing here, it's probably really, like, really easy leveling, you know. If you actually know the questing and you know what's going on, uh, and you have your flying mount, it's probably really easy to level up here quickly. Uh, doing it the way I'm doing it, like, obviously, like, not intention. Not, not, not intended. I can't remember if there were servitors, like, inside the, inside the cave. Yeah, they, they are. They're in here, too. Well, there were some. A lot of them have been freed. Oh, here we go. The, the zone's very pretty. Everything is very pretty, you know? The lighting isn't awesome. Like, in my opinion, the outdoor lighting is kind of not great. But the zone's very pretty. The art is pretty. Like, it's all nice. It just doesn't feel like a like an open-world zone in an RPG. It just feels, like, very closed in. Very, like, overly intentional. I think I, I think I have all the guys I need. I can't. My quest tracking's broken, so we'll, we'll, we don't know for sure. But uh, this is not the way out, obviously. I, I don't even have any add-ons, so yeah, disable add-ons. Go disable the things that I don't have. That works for me.
Hello. See you around. Have a good one. See you later. We're, we're never going to get whatever this quest is, whatever that quest is, we are we are not going to find out. And uh, like whatever this turn in is, I don't think we're going to find that out either. I think that's it. I think at this point, I, I, I would probably head out of here at this point. I feel like I've combed all over this entire area. I've been in and out of the cave several times. I never found the, the additional quest pickup and I, I never found the, uh, the turn in. And I could probably, like, I guess I would probably read the quest more. If the game were live, maybe I would dig into, like, actually reading the quest and trying to figure it out. But, uh, yeah. Just bad, bad quest tracking. Obviously, like, on launch, I'll just, I'll just be using Questy. And, like, if I'm gonna use quest tracking at all, I, I love it when it's, like, just quest tracking that actually works would be good, you know? Quest tracking that will actually show you where objectives are at would, would be good. And, yeah, guys, I'm out of time for today. I really appreciate you all hanging out and letting me play some of the beta. Uh, my like thoughts, I the warrior class is awesome. I really wish I could get a warrior up in time for the cata launch. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Uh, as far as the cata zones, the cata zones are going to be something that I do one time that I get my character through. Uh, I'll probably try to read all the quests the first time I go through them just to like see some of the lore, see some of the story. Uh, overall, like for me this like cataclysm is like the tipping point where the game does not feel like classic anymore and the questing just kind of leaves me like yearning for the days of just like more open zones just like that more classic era questing the questing here makes me want to go play like season of discovery and just quest in the in the old world you know what i mean like just to be in a version of the game that people are playing but where i can have that like old school like questing experience because this seems like skippable content. Like the questing from 80 to 85, it, it just seems like content that you just, you want to get through it. You just, you just want to get it over with. It's only five levels. Uh, you know, you want to get through it, get it done, get it out of the way. I think like having stuff like flying, right? Like de designing the zones for flying. And the, the zones are very small zones, you know, they're not big zones the way like Dragonflight was designed for flying, but Dragonflight zones are quite large. These are tiny little zones with like little pockets of activity here and there. And it just seems to be designed to zip around to get it done and get to level 85. Uh, so I hope the level 85 content is fun for some people because that's really, it's really all you're going to be getting out of it. You know, unless you're a person who you haven't seen any of the Kata zones, like the Old World remade. If you haven't seen, if you somehow have avoided playing retail in the past 10 years and you haven't seen any of the old world remade, then yeah, Cataclysm might be enjoyable for you. It might be enjoyable for a person to go see like all those zones uh, revamped. That being said, like those zones have existed in retail for over 10 years. And if a person really wanted to experience those zones, it'd probably be more enjoyable to experience them in retail. You'd have the lighting improvement, you'd have increased view distance uh, in, in retail. You would have all the new like models and new enemies uh, with their updated Dragonflight version so the game would look prettier than it does uh, in Classic Era. And you know, all the quests and stuff are still the same, so even if you wanted to read the quest, you can do it in retail, you can get, you can get everything out of it that you need to do. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys, I really do appreciate it, thanks for hanging out. As always, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again somewhere, sometime very soon. Bye for now.